Hey everybody, it's Rick Cowan, Beautiful Beast of Softball. I'm uh, here with Haley Bustis tonight from California. How are you doing, Haley? I'm good. Hey, it's good to see you again, kiddo. It's been too long. So catch, catch me up. How's things going out there with you, family? I know you guys recently uh, moved. How's COVID? Talk, mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit what's going on out there. Yeah, so... Um... Yeah, like you said, we've recently moved to a new house, which is really exciting. Um, COVID hasn't been in as much of effect anymore. Of course, it's still going on, so we still have to think about it. But like, we're still wearing masks at practice, and we had to really think about if we were going to do a high school season for my high school. So, But we ended up um, doing a high school season, so that's exciting. Yeah, that is. I mean... If you consider um, one year ago um, where we were at and everything shutting down to where we're at now, I mean, this is a blessing. Um, yeah, it's way better. It's way better, right? And mm -hmm. getting an opportunity to you know, play the game you love is, is so important uh, for sure. Can, can you tell me a little bit about you know, the balance just talk to us all. I mean, that's a, that's a lot going on on your plate between travel ball practice, high school practice, uh, being a student athlete, you know, getting your, getting your reps in. H how do you manage it all? Um, well, for me, like I, I get off track really easily, like mentally, like with my schoolwork and um, doing stuff. But um, I, I have to have like a kind of concrete schedule <laughs> to when yeah. I need to do things so like I I have times where I need to do my homework and then I have times where I need to like hit in my garage or go play catch with my dad like I make a schedule and that really helps me out so yeah well I mean even this interview coming together you know between your schedule and my schedule it, it took a couple <laughs> of times right so yes <laughs> um you know love everything about you you're you're a great uh, kid, a great advocate for beautiful beast of sports. Um, Thank you. Uh, one I'm really proud of, uh, Haley. Thank you. Hey, um, talk to us a little bit. You know, part about being a beautiful beast is overcoming obstacles. And I know that you are just coming off of a finger injury related to um, the sport. I, I know you, you know, are, are strong. <laughs> Uh, young lady and and you push back against the pain but tell me a little bit about it what 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 happened and where, where you're at in the process yeah so I hurt my finger I think it'll be over a month now like um, a month ago now um, and I kind of dealt with it for like three weeks until I went to my doctor and when I went there he was just kind of like there's just I mean, it was broken. There's not really much we could do. It's kind of just in the healing stages right now. And he just told me to take some time off. And um, so I had to take some time off. But right now I'm I'm pretty much 100% back. I still have to keep my finger on my glove sometimes. But yeah, I'm doing well otherwise. Yeah. Well, good deal. And we had talked a little bit about your high school team and, um, you know, in, in high school settings versus, uh, you know, select ball or travel ball settings, you, you, you sometimes don't have quite the, the depth, but is there a, a catcher there you're training up? What's, how, how are you imparting what you know to the, to the kids in high school? Yeah, I mean, the skill level um, definitely isn't the same in high school ball. So, uh -huh. um, yeah, I mean, I guess spreading the knowledge, but I also don't want to be that one player that's like telling everyone how to do things but like subtly yeah I'm trying to tell people <laughs> what they're supposed to do since a lot of them have never, never played before so yeah well I mean I, I appreciate that and that's that's the one thing that I like about uh, female sports uh, in particular over uh, you know boys sports is is that there is a, a, a cultural um, you know difference in giving back and, and willing to you know, help the next athlete up. Not, not that it doesn't happen in boys sports, but um, mm -hmm. I like the way that, you know, young, you know, young ladies give back to, to others and want to spread the knowledge to what they know to others and, and hats off to you for you know, being willing to do that. Thank you. For sure. 
Hey, um, all American sports Academy travel team. So you guys are going to get started back up, um, training, uh, lessons, practices, uh, pretty soon, or what's the, what's the schedule with uh, your travel team? Yeah. So we're, um, we're back practicing. We've been practicing for quite a while now. I mean, we still have to be mindful with the masks at practice and things like that, but, um, yeah, we're, we've been practicing and we're doing some pretty big tournaments coming up and um, like some week long tournaments we're doing are actually coming up pretty close, which I don't have the exact date with me right now, but um, yeah, we're going to be doing some bigger tournaments in the future. Okay. And of course, the obvious question is, is any of those going to be in the Texas area? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. You, you know, I'm still promoting you to come to school here somewhere in Texas. <laughs> it's hot there. It's hot. It's not hot every day, Haley. Okay. Well, Someday. I want to go. I want to go somewhere where it's cold. Yeah. Well, that's not here often. So. Yeah, I, it's I, not here either, which is why I want out. <laughs> yeah. Certainly agree with you. Hey. Thanks for taking some time this afternoon and, and catching us up. Anything you want to say to Beautiful Beast Nation? Um, thanks for the support. That's it. Yeah, well, good deal. Hey, you're a good egg, kiddo. Um, Thank you. Again, great to catch up with you again. And I will be talking to you again soon. Take care, Haley. Bye. Bye.